I'm with Johnny Probst. He's an author, a good friend of ours, and he's author, along with his wife Patty, of the Strangers and Pilgrims series. Hey, Johnny, tell me about the books and uh, tell me about your vision, just real quick. Well, actually, there's uh, four books out right now, Jeremy. The, uh, fir- the first book is The Last of the Wagon Pioneers. The second is A Place for Farmer and Emily. The third is Janie. And the fourth is Caught Up. And Caught Up just won first place in the Christian Choice Book Awards. So we were really excited about that. And uh, the uh, series will have seven books. So right now I'm working on book number five. Well, they're really great books, Johnny. I've enjoyed having a chance to read and review uh, all of them as well. Thank you. But uh, tell folks about your work and about uh, how you relate to us and uh, how you relate to us and the work that we do with the homeless and the needy in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Well, when I first started getting assist news, I noticed this strange-sounding place called Joy Junction. I wondered what in the world is that. Anyway, as I've you know read some of the articles and I've come to know exactly what you're doing. Uh, spend a lot of time in prayer for you. We look forward to the time that Patty and I can come out there and visit and just see for ourselves. But um, we've had some background years ago in doing ministry with the homeless. So our our connection is there and our heart is there with you. And how bad are the homeless in your area out here where you live, John? Uh, we see them all around us. Uh, just in the, in the area where we live, we drive a maybe a mile and there's uh, there's homeless people there we see the lines out around places like um, uh, uh, well just like in downtown LA of course is Union Rescue Mission Salvation Army close to us and we see uh, see them in the restaurants where we eat sometimes and, you know and we've, we've helped some of them you know with uh, just talking to them and sometimes with some just some cash Tell me in closing, Johnny, what do you think Christians and people who view this should be doing to help the homeless that they see? Well, I think, first of all, to try to understand that, that they're there by circumstances that they're not always in control of and they're not always wanting to be where they are. So I think that uh, buy them something to eat because they're usually um, almost always hungry. Um, get them to a shelter. You know, there's a number of things that a person can do, but but food and shelter are primary. And then, of course, be a witness to them. Okay, in closing, Johnny, thank you so much. And if people want to get a hold of you and get a hold of one of your wonderful books, which I highly recommend that they do, give us a website they can do that and how they can get a hold of you and your wife, Patty. And we'd love to hear from anybody, www.johnpattybooks.com. John, it's been great as ever. Hopefully we'll be back out again in this area to see you again soon. Great to see you, Jeremy. God bless you.